okay so the first topic there are basically 27 topics that we have divided the syllabus in and uh, the first topic that i'm going to work with is uh, this uh, indices or exponents okay so there are a few laws of exponents that we need to remember wo laws humne bachpan mein dekhe hain and uh, we have studied them in uh, 9th and 10th and uh, so it shouldn't be that difficult but a review is important so i just quickly give you those so there is if you have a number x and it has a power 1 then obviously it becomes the same thing it's the same thing so if the power is not written it is 1 but if the power is 0 then the thing becomes 1 now there is a reason why that happens i'll explain in a uh, in a while then if the powers let's suppose here and you multiply them if the base is same they are both x's and they multiply then the powers add okay this dot means multiplication mm-hmm. and if they divide like uh, if they divide like if you have x power m divided by x power n then the powers will subtract okay that's another law so for example if i have a uh, 4 power 3 divided by 4 power 2 then they will subtract and give me 4 3 minus 2 if you don't want to if you want to know why exactly that works that is because 4 power 3 means 4 times 4 times 4 and 4 power 2 means 4 times 4 and basically you're just cancelling out this cancels with this this cancels with this and you're left with just 4 right So, yeah. what does x power zero? Why is that equal to one? Because imagine I had four power three divided by four power three. What will it be? It will be four times four times four divided by four times four times four. This cancels out. This cancels out. This cancels out. What am I left with? Nothing. That is equal to one, right? If I use the law of division, then this becomes four power three minus three, which is four power zero. Which basically means I can say that four power zero. is division by itself ji yeah. so if you divide a number by itself what do you get one mm-hmm. and that is why uh, anything with power zero is one okay okay uh, what about powers if i have power upon a power then the powers multiply so for example if i had 2 power 3 whole power 4 it will become 2 power 12 similarly if they were like this like if this whole thing had a power then this is same as powers on these individual things which means i can take power as common if i had 2 power 3 over 3 power 3 i can write it as 2 over 3 whole power 3 uh, give me a minute i'm getting a call are you there ji ji yeah so i was saying that uh, this is the next law that you can actually take power as common uh, similarly Uh, we have uh, if two things multiply then you can also do the same thing like if these two multiply then you can separate the power like that or if you have 2 power 3 times 3 power 3 then you can say that this is 2 times 3 whole power 3 which makes it really easy this is 6 power 3 which is 2 one 6 okay <coughs> sorry so it's really easy to do that and then comes the most important one of the most important laws which is that if i have power that is negative then if you take a reciprocal power changes sign so for example if i have 2 power minus 3 this changes to 1 over 2 power 3 or if i have 1 over 2 power negative 3 this will change to 2 power plus 3 so if you flip the fraction power changes sign that is a very very important law okay so saying that uh upar ek se niche jata hai main i'm just writing this down so can you just scroll down just for one second yeah sure okay sir all right so knowing these laws it's important ki hum inko for an apply kare now a couple of uh, important numbers to remember so for example we need to know that no matter what the power of 1 is it remains 1 okay so that's mm-hmm. important that no matter what the power of 1 is it remains 1 so 1 power anything is just 1 but negative 1 power anything changes mm-hmm. if this is odd then it is equal to minus 1 and if this number is even then it is equal to plus 1 and that is the same for all negative numbers okay so mm-hmm. if you have a negative number with a power and the power is odd 
the answer will be negative. If the negative number with the power even, then the answer will be positive. That's an important idea to remember. Now, sometimes in exam, what they do is that they give us like minus minus three power two. Now, this means that this is not minus three whole power two. Like this thing is very different from this one. This one is minus nine because the power is done first. Remember this rule, PEM dash. G. Okay. And this tells us that power is evaluated the first, like most importantly. So, so value both you. And this one is plus nine because the power is outside the negative and negative numbers with even powers go like that. Uh, so that's the thing. Now we're going to solve a few questions mentally. Okay. So I'm going to write the numbers and I would like you to answer them, but don't answer right away. Okay. So I'm writing them now and uh, people who are watching the recording now, make sure that you pause the recording after when I write the questions and then you, uh, try to think of your answers before you actually continue the recording. Okay. So I'm writing this. You don't have to copy it. Okay. So pause this and then answer it. G. Moiz, what are these answers? So the first one is going to be uh, minus one. Very good. And the second one minus one. Uh, the, se the second one is going to be minus. Uh, I think it's going to be one. No, it's also going to be minus one because one power five and then the answer is multiplied with negative. There's oh. no principle. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then the second one is going to be minus one. Okay. The third one, third one. Third one is not minus one because notice that there are parentheses and power is outside and any negative number with even power is positive. Okay, even power makes it positive. So minus one power 10 is plus one. Okay. After fourth is minus one? Fourth one is minus one, yeah. And the fifth one is um, plus one? Yeah. And then the sixth one is uh, minus one? Good. Seventh one is um, one second. Uh, minus one. Yep. How did you do it? Uh, so I know that it's an uh, it's an even number, so it's going to be positive. But there's a negative sign outside the bracket as well, so I did. Uh, it becomes minus. Perfect. Yeah, that's the answer. Yep. And then the second last one is um, an us. Uh, uh, <clears throat> it's going to be one so okay so think about it like this uh the second last one is minus three to the power three right yeah. so negative has an odd power so it's going to be negative the answer is negative and what is three power three uh 27 yes so it's going to be minus 27 okay and then the last one is uh three power three which is going to be minus 27 yeah, perfect. Uh, the second, uh, the first one um, is going to be, I'm sorry, this is just really kind of confusing in the start. Um, minus. Feel free to write it down if you want to. Yeah. Although the better idea, although I want you to do it mentally, but it's fine. Uh, and that's what I'm doing. I'm doing it mentally. I want to try it. Okay. Uh, the first one will be, uh, it's odd, so it's going to be minus. It's going to be, uh, so evaluate this first, evaluate this thing inside first. Okay. And yes. then multiply with the negative outside minus 27. Perfect. Yep. That's the answer. Okay. But then that also multiplies with the negative outside. So it becomes plus 27. Wait, but I got the final answer as minus 27. No, no, final answer is not negative. Notice this, uh, the negative outside remains and this thing negative power. Uh, odd power to negative and three power three is 27. And then these two multiply. So this gives you plus 27 as a final answer. Okay. So okay. then it's the second one is going to be minus 12. No, six uh, plus squared. Oh, to, uh, plus 36. Plus 36, yeah. And but why uh, are you getting plus 36? Because um, a minus. 
six ka square lenge um it's going to be 36 and then and this a... is the negative outside yeah it becomes negative 36 overall get it yes okay and the next one third one is going to be 64 uh 4 bar 3 is 64 you have an odd number so you get minus 64 So this whole thing is minus sixty four, and then with the minus outside is plus sixty four. Sixty four, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Next one. Two power three. Is eight. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. Uh. Two, um. Um. Are you using a calculator? I'm trying. Yeah. No, no, no! You can't use a calculator for this. Okay. Yeah. So another way of looking at this is that two power three times four squared is basically two power three times two squared squared, which is two power four. Mm -hmm. This is two threes, and this is two fours, and so this becomes two power seven. This whole portion, and two power seven, we will memorize powers of two till two power ten. So two power seven is one hundred twenty eight, and this thing inside is three power five is two forty three. So this is negative two forty three. Of course, this is the end of mathematical, mental math that I would like you to have. Okay, so okay. there's it. You can't do it any further. Okay, do the next one. Um. So it's negative um, minus two. My us uh, minus six. Not six. Two power three is two power two power three is eight. Yeah, eight. Um, it's going to be minus eight, though, right? Eight exactly. Into um minus three in the race uh three twenty seven thirty um minus thirty. No, wait a minute. So minus two power three is minus eight. And minus three power four is plus eighty one. Yes. So eighty one times minus eight is going to be so eight times one is eight, and eight times eight is sixty four. So six forty eight, negative six four eight. That's your final answer. Okay. Minus eight times eighty one. Now eight times one is eight, and eight times eight is sixty four. So it's going to be minus six forty eight. Okay. And the uh, three raised to the power zero is one. Yeah. Six raised to the power negative one is six. No, it's one over six because you bring the negative power, you flip the fraction, and that makes it positive. Oh. So it's one over six, and that's fine. You can give fraction as the answer. That's going to be one over six. Yeah, one over six. Okay, and the other one is going to be one over four. Yeah. And then one, one, um, one over th um, nine, one over nine. Yep. Uh, thirty. No, five power three means five times five times five. That is one hundred twenty-five. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. No problem. And uh, the other one is gonna be um. So five power negative three. What do we do when you have a negative power? You flip the fraction. Okay. Okay, so it's gonna be one over um, five raised to the power one of three. Yeah. So since we still have to write it, one over five raised to the power three. Do yeah? Do we have to write down the whole thing? So it's better if you write one over one twenty five. Okay. okay. Yeah. And then the other one is gonna be forty uh, nine. Yeah. The other one is gonna be um one over. Uh, forty-nine. Perfect. Then it's gonna be um, ten into ten into ten. Now the thing with tens is that if you have like, if you have one zero, and it has the power three, you write three zeros. Yeah. You triple the zeros. If I had hundred power three, I'll triple the zeros. So there are two zeros in hundred, so it'll be six zero. Okay. Yeah. And then the last one is gonna be. One over ten raised uh ten with three zeros, yeah. Yeah, exactly. 
Okay, so that is when we have simple numbers. Now, what if we have algebra, like we have expressions? So that's also something that you have already worked with in uh, school. So I'm writing them down here. Try to solve all of them as I write them. So, okay. So try the words. Yeah, so this is algebraic indices. So this is our seven second exercise. So try to answer this, okay? I will of course give you the answers at the end. Of course. For example, this one, how do you do it? You multiply the number with the number. Yes. It becomes six, and you multiply the variable with the variable. So if it is X, you multiply with X. If it is Y, you multiply with Y. So this becomes X power five because the powers are added. Same mm -hmm. for this one, the numbers multiply with numbers. So that's eight. And the, these one multiply, so the powers add. So this becomes K power negative two, okay? That's what you get. And mm -hmm. never give a final answer as negative powers. It oh, flip the fraction and it becomes eight over K squared. Notice that I did not flip eight because eight doesn't have negative power. Only K does. So that's why I only flipped K. Okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. So you get it. That's how you do it. So I'm writing yeah. the next. Don't tell me the answer. Okay. Try sure. to solve it. I've sent the worksheet to you as well. It has all, like these are the first 11, and then there are the next. Overall, there's 27 that you have to do. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, so just solve this, uh, the 27 questions, and uh, we'll review them in the next class.